So we got the test pipe right here and we are removing the O2 sensor because we need to create a solution to make sure that the code's not going to run off all the time. Beautiful. Good. All right. So we are about halfway through installing my Burke resonated test pipes on the G35. And the reason why we're doing another episode real quick is to show you guys what these are. Non Fowlers. All right. You can find them on Amazon, or if you search for it anywhere on Google, you will find these. And what they're normally used for is spark plugs, but they have an alternate use. We have an extended bung on our resonated test pipe right here. And the whole reason why it's extended from here is because this doesn't have a catalytic converter in it. So what we're doing by having an extension on there is we are pulling the O2 sensor away from the direct path of the exhaust. Even with this being pulled away from there, there's still a huge amount of air that's gonna go right in and smash right into this. And then the computer is gonna be like, hey, you're running real bad, so you need a new cat, but we don't even want one. So we've got these non-fowlers. This one actually came in from China. I've got a couple options just to see which one's best, but we've got a right angle on it. And the important part about this is it has a little bit of room inside it for the O2 sensor, so it's still gonna be able to take a reading, but the air that goes into it is decreased greatly. So what it's doing is it's not allowing the oil and the excess fuel that's being dumped straight through the pipe to go right in here. We're gonna get better readings and then I won't run any codes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So we're just gonna install these on here. This one is made out of brass. Yeah, brass. So it'll strip real, real quick. That's why I have the other ones, but I'm going to try not to strip this one. I'm just going to install it. Let's put it right in there. Yeah, I don't want to go in that direction. Nice, there's only one direction we'll go. Should I do this one or I can use the other ones? So we're looking at a couple of different solutions for getting these on here in a way that it's going to fit on the car. And the issue we're running into is this copper washer that the brass non fowler came with only allows it to end up pointing downward, which would make the O2 sensor at the lowest part of the car. I don't want that at all. But the other non fowlers came with these like real crush washers. Like you choose what angle you want to stop that type of crush washer. So I'm just going to put this one on here and I'm going to use this to thread this on here and then have it pointing up in the direction of the resonator. So one more rotation straight up towards the resonator. Yep. And guess what? If you made it this far, you liked the video. So make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe and share with all of your friends. We've got lots more content coming up. So, yeah. Now you know what non followers are. Yeah. Cool. Bye -bye. They saved me on the Mazda. Yup. No throwing codes. Don't let someone try to talk you into some sort of tune that you don't necessarily need. <laughs> if you can just put non followers on, yeah. stop throwing codes. If you want to get rid of your cats, use these. Yep. Screw cats. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, share the video, and we'll see you next time.